Hey there, folks. It's the Eric Metaxas Show, and I am talking about hell. It's Hell Week on the Eric Metaxas Show. Uh, and my first guest this week is my old friend, George Saris, who has a book out, Heaven's Doors, in which he maintains that hell is real, but it is not forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, George, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Uh, your book, Heaven's Doors, is it's to some people, it's, it's, it's not just controversial, but it's heretical and damaging. And they say that your book could lead people not to take it seriously. And if it leads one soul away from being with God forever, that's really, uh, there's nothing worse. One of the key uh, elements of Christianity is that the ends do not justify the means, right? So if it's true, you got to preach it. Number two, the early church preached this. They took over the Roman Empire. It was not something that led people away from Christ. It was something that led them to Christ, uh, understanding that God is really good. There are two great commandments. You've got the great commandment to love God with all of your heart. You also have the commandment to love people, to love your neighbor as yourself. I get the, the biggest problem that I see within the evangelical world today is that we have changed the Great Commission from making disciples into making converts. And this whole idea of, of giving a fire insurance policy to somebody, I go in there, I get his, his uh, name on a card, and uh, I can therefore say, hey, this person now is a Christian, I can go to the next person. I forget about them, I don't have to worry about them anymore because, hey, I got them out of, out of hell. That's the only legitimate reason for being on there. Third thing is, Hell, in my experience, has been the greatest hindrance to the spread of the gospel, not the greatest help to the spread of the gospel. Eternal, conscious suffering for anyone is not good news. Whatever you say, it's not good news. Right. It is the most dreadful news ever announced. There was a man by the name of Francis Xavier. In fact, the film uh, Silence relates a little bit to that. Francis Xavier was uh, Portuguese, and he was the first missionary to Japan right. and uh, had a, a tremendous ministry over there. In 1552, he wrote a letter back to uh, the Vatican, and th this is what it, he wrote in part. He said, one of the things that most of all pains and torments these Japanese is that we teach them that the prison of hell is irrevocably shut so that there is no egress therefrom. For they grieve over the fate of their departed children, of their parents and relatives, and they often show their grief by their tears. So they ask us if there's any hope, any way to free them by prayer from that eternal misery. And I'm obliged to answer that there is absolutely none. Their grief at this affects them, torments them. They almost pine away with sorrow. They often ask if God cannot take their fathers out of hell and why their punishment must never have an end. I can hardly restrain my tears sometimes at seeing men so dear to my heart suffer such intense pain about a thing which is absolutely done and there's no way that it can be undone. That is not good news. That's one of the reasons why the gospel has not made a significant impact in cultures that have a high view of relationships of uh, like over in the, e uh, the Far East where you have your ancestors are important to you. Your family is important to you. In the Middle East, your family is important to you. Right. Well, it's great to know that you're going to get saved. But what about my father? Right. What about my sister? What about my uncle? What about my, my uh, grandfather, my children? Uh, that's not good news. And that's what keeps people away from God. The bottom line is to tell people that this God you're telling them about, who's supposed to be so loving, would either cause or allow billions of people to suffer consciously forever. That is just, he's not a very nice God. The one thing that I always fall back on is I know that God is a just God and that I can trust him. I'm talking to George Saris today. Uh, his book is Heaven's Doors. We'll be right back. 